Hello, everybody. It's Lisa Girlfriend, and I've got my good friend and my guest, Elena Cardone, on today, as promised. Elena, I've been promoting this for like a week. I've been so excited to, to get you on here and, you know, just to have this conversation with you. I mean, 10X Ladies is coming in less than 30 days. You know what? In the past, that would have given me butterflies. And now I'm just so excited. It is going to be amazing. And do you know everybody on my team who went last time? They're all going again. And then even more of them bought tickets the other day. And it's like, this is one of those things. It's like, you don't want to miss it. No, you just don't want to miss it. it. It's almost like not only do you learn, do you change your life? Do you make connections? But you also... Like it's, it, it's this tribe, it's this community of people that, you know, that are success minded. It is, you know, and it's really about women really coming together to empower other women. And it's not like in the hokey terms, like, oh, we're going to empower each other. It's like real committed women who want to have other real badass women's backs, you know, like for real supporting each other showing active interest in the success of like for real and you know but there, there were so many men there i mean you know 10 i mean 10x ladies as we say it but it's it's it's, it's like it's a lifestyle it's like it's a, it's a mindset like i've got so many couple friends that are studying your book together and, and you know who they are the o'malley's and the colhanes right and if i could just get my husband to sit down long enough i would do it with him too because what you created with empire with build an empire your book was a, a mindset like like a way to come together as husband and wife and work together that's what i'm doing lisa and i'm glad you corrected me because i do have a tendency to leave my guys out of the picture and the truth be told i love my guys you know they're 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 incredible assets in my life um, but the but the thing about 10x ladies is is as I got older in life, I realized the value and the importance of having women in my life. Where in my early 20s or so, like I never have had a problem with women. I I don't have the reality, even though supposedly it really exists out there, where women are clawing each other down. I haven't really I've just never had problems with women. Like that's not a reality to me, but I just never hung out with women. I've never done girly things. I do MMA, I shoot guns. Like I don't do girly things. I don't I was sit gonna and make say, I mean, you are, you know, you box every morning, you do MMA. Yeah, like like I just don't do like typical stereotypical girly things, you know? So, but as my point is, is as I've evolved in life, I realized, wow, you know, now I'm married. I didn't even get married until I was 30. But like now that I'm married and I have two children, 12 and 10, like, and I do a lot, not only, you know, for myself, but for my husband, for my children, for the organization. And sometimes, I mean, not to sound like I'm complaining by any means, but it's just, again, in reality, I feel like, well, who is there for me? You know, like sometimes I feel like, like I'm there for everyone else. Who's there for me? Like, and then that's when I realized, wow, you know what? Other women are there for me. Like they can just understand my realities, not to commiserate and moan and complain and about men or the life that they're in, but like just really be able to understand what I'm going through and to continue to say, yes, you go through that and that and that, but guess what? You have a whole army of us whether we're physically there or existing in your head that have your back and to say, yes, you can, and you can do more and we're going to hold you accountable and you can do it. And you know, that is the power of having powerful women in your life. But now cut to the men angle. What you said is absolutely right because we have these events because I have also come to learn in my life uh, which is contrary to the Elena in her 20s who thought she had to be this strong, independent woman, never depend on a man for anything, was battling my husband for the first five years of our marriage. We were like going up and going down and then going, you know what I mean? Because we were, we were vying for this power position in our marriage. Then I realized, wow, 2008 happened. 
Maybe what would happen if I allied with my husband, we actually figured out who we were as a couple, not just what are Elena's goals or what's Grant's goals, but what are our goals together? Where do we want to be in the future? And who are we? Who do we represent as a couple? Let's work together and see what happens. And boom, the minute we did that, we catapulted into a heightened level of success because now we were stopped trying to be the boss of each other and we delegated who got to be the boss of what roles in our life. So now, you know, I'm so busy getting my areas operating efficiently. I don't really have time to like try Pick to buy his positions because I'm too busy trying to get mine being better than his, frankly. So I know, but Elena, it's so amazing. Like, I've known your husband for like 10 or 11 years. And when I went to your Bay mastermind, which is how we first met, and that was less than a year ago, which it seems like I've known you my whole life, <laughs> but it's less than a year ago. And when I left there, I was like, oh my God, like, and hey, I see all you ladies on here and you've given Elena tons of love, share this out. I want to challenge everyone here to share this out. Um, and just to see you teach it, you sat there on a chair for two days straight, you shared your heart, you shared your goals, you shared your struggles. But most importantly, from that, you gave us a success plan. You gave us a path to build an empire. And I remember Grant coming in at lunch that day and you and I were all sitting in there. I looked at Grant and I said, where has she been my whole life? Like, how have I known you for so long? And I did not know Elena Cardone. I mean, seriously. So I think that for the longest time, Elena, I think that you've been the best kept secret in the Cardone empire. Now, that's all changed in the last couple of years since your book and all of that. But I just find it interesting, so many 10Xers, how we've known Grant and followed Grant and whatever. And, you know, you've been the woman behind the man, which you have talked about. You know, you do strategy and infrastructure and all of that stuff. But when you made a pivot about a year ago, because you decided you wanted to be the, the woman behind many people, right? Grant's good. The Cardone Empire is good. And now you decided you were going to make a legacy play. And I love what you said the other day on Clubhouse. And I don't know if you remember this or not. <clears throat> I'm looking at my notes, but you said, you know, I've always helped Grant build all of his businesses, right? Like, like they're Grant, but like I, I've been the silent force behind these companies and this business. And, you know, people didn't really realize. And you said with what you've done with EXP, that this is the first time that you, Elena, it, or, it, you know, that you're building your empire and helping other people build their empire on something totally different than all the other massive offerings from the Cardones. Yeah, that's true. It is. And so, you know, I, it's, it's, it's really a great time in my life because I can do this now because we have all the everything up and running and the girls are older. And for me, this was, I mean, I didn't actually think I would do something kind of separate, but it is all still in the same family. Like I'm not yeah, because I mean, awesome. Grant is like the lead trainer or, you know, his training's the lead stuff for EXP. He's a spokesperson, like all of that. Right. So it's not right. that separate, but right. the everyday right. building, the team is you. Exactly. So like I didn't individuate and go start my own thing and go, I have to prove myself as this own and I need my own validation, even though all of that is nice. And I wish <laughs> I or want that, but you know, it does feel nice. So that's just, that is what it is. But, you know, when Grant and Glenn Sanford were trying to figure out how to make Grant be on the platform for EXP for his training, they ran into the problem that Grant's not a realtor. So that's when I, again, Lisa, thought I was going to be the behind the scenes force. I'll get the real estate license so you guys can do the transaction and that'll be it. And no one will ever know that we did that. And it doesn't matter because I was just yet one of the many line of things that, like you said, the silent force or whatever. So, and that's it. But then I learned about the model uh, about EXP and how um, the, the, the revenue share and the equity ownership. And so this is second and third sources of income that the realtor can have 
and be rewarded for in addition to their commission. And when I saw that, I was like, wow, now this is a model that can bring an agent financial stability or financial freedom or even financial legacy because that's willable, right? And that's when it clicked in my head where I went, oh my God, I've always been the woman behind the man. I can't go be the woman behind some other man, nor do I want to do that. But I was like, oh my God, my talent this whole time is, has been, has been through this organization. But now the light bulb went off. I went, oh my God, I have the opportunity to not only see about my own spiritual legacy. Can I be the woman behind the thousands or the millions? I mean, how big could it go? I'm never going to be the one to cap or limit a mindset, but can I offer infrastructure mindset and support? Same thing that I did for Grant. I'm not going to build anyone's business. I didn't build Grant's business. He did. He was the hammer. He was the one who pushed and shoved and made it happen and sweat and picked up the phone and worked. I was just the one who offered infrastructure, mindset, support, and a little bit of my hooky dooky magic, you know, where I'm like, <laughs> you know, and I was like, okay, well, let's see, can I do it? You know, or am I just a one trick pony? Yeah. And there's nothing about you. That's a one trick pony. And after I spent that day at Bay mastermind, the first day, and then of course it was two days. And when I said to Grant and like, he just like, you know, Grant, he just kind of like, oh, like, you know, get kind of gave me that smirky smile. And I'm like, no, like I'm being real with you. Like, because I, I had read your book about a year earlier and I loved it. I thought it was great, but I still, you know, I, I'd only seen you like on Instagram or I'd seen you on YouTube and you were so like a movie star and almost unobtainable, right? Like this gorgeous, amazing <laughs> woman. I know, but to know you now, I'm like, she's just like the rest of us, you know? You know, you, you have some of the same struggles, you have some of the same fears, you have some of the same, you know, all the above, you're trying to raise two, two beautiful young women, you know, I mean, all of the things that so many other women that we're all facing at different levels, except that you and Grant have chosen to kind of live your life publicly, because that's, that's the Cardone brand, right, is to, sh I mean, you know, someone asked me the other day, they're like, you know, something about Grant. And I said, I said, the best way I could sum up the Cardones is that I believe that they sell success. They sell success, but they take you on the journey with them, mm. right? They show you the success. They show you the failures. They show you how to do it. They absolutely, they just, they absolutely never, ever quit. Like never quit. You guys work day and night. You're the biggest hustlers I've ever seen in my life. And, and, and the thing is, is that you don't have to be right? Let's be real. You don't have to be. Grant doesn't have to be. But how can you ask other people to do that if you all are not willing to do it yourself? That's and right. There's nobody else out there like that that sells success. Tony Robbins, like you look at some of these other people, they're not out hustling like the Cardones are. They're not putting no. on training. They're not live. They're not doing any of that. You know? Right. And, 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 and I'm, I'm glad you know that, uh, you know, our life is so public for that reason. I love that you say that self success because you um, grand success is your duty, your obligation and your responsibility. And you, he also says, if they don't know you, they can't yes. flow. You. <laughs> yes. so we always believe in being transparent, you know, good, bad or ugly. We're authentic. You know, we make mistakes. Grant crosses a line, crosses the Grant? line. Grant crosses the line ever? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I'm pushing my boundaries too, but the problem is, is when I cross a line, I just agonize and feel horrible about it, you know, like for days on end where a grant's like, well, how do you expect me to know where the line is if I don't cross it? That's his attitude, you know? Yeah. Um, but anyway, so, you know, we, we always have to do it and then say, look, do what we're doing. Like, you, you know, you have to, if you want your business to be successful, you, you people have to know what business you're in. You have to be on some, you have to be omnipresent on somebody's mind. I now want to get the word out. I am a realtor. If you're looking for real estate in Miami or anywhere, I have 441 agents across the globe. 453. 52. Oh my gosh, 452 agents globally. I'm your girl. I can put you with someone, but I gotta be in everyone's face. So anyway, we never tell anyone to do something we're not willing to do ourselves, you know? And that is, that is why the 10X Nation, and just like I told Grant 
back this, when this whole EXP thing started, I said, there's almost, in my opinion, the disciples, like the Church of Cardone, and not to be irreverent or any of the above, but it's just the fact that, you know, you guys build brand ambassadors, you build disciples, and they trust you, you know, and they're willing to do what you do. And it's the fact that you all do it. You don't just say it. You don't just sell it like, hey, here's my book, read my book, and here's how to do it. We see it lived out every single day. I mean, I I get no less than nine emails a day from your husband. And every day it's something, it's another life training. It's another this. And, and they're not done by one of his flunkies. They're done by Grant Cardone. You know? That's right. I well, mean. Right. We're like always like rocking and on the phone. And, you know, again, and it's like, you know, when you know who you are as a couple and where you're going and and, and that's important for couples to do that. Uh, but, you know, we have a very big mindset. When I met Grant, well, I'll tell you this. Before I met Grant, I was with a guy and he was like, what are you going to do? And I was like, oh, I'm going to change the world or something cliche like that. And he was like, oh, you that's the problem with you. You're always so like, you know, high highfalutin and you you know like like you really think you can change the world why do you always say these things that are just so like not realistic like he was a very literal kind of a guy and i was just like oh god i can't do it you know and when i met grant i was like grant what do you want to do and he was like uh i want seven billion people to know my name um and be winning with our my products and services i was like you know what i can get behind you that's big enough that's a big enough thought for me Looping it back in, when you know, when your goal is you want 8 billion, because I think it's 8 billion now, because this was 20 years ago. I think we got a billion more people. Anyway, the number keeps changing in our family. Now it's, we say 8 billion. We want 8 billion people to know who we are. That's what, and be winning from our products and services. So that's our goal that we work towards together. So if that's the goal, then also you have to realize that at that moment, you don't have um, the the right to then tell the partner or the spouse, get off of the phone, stop being known, spend time with me. When are you going to put that up? It's like, no, wait, that's confusing. Like, here's our goal, but yet you're pulling me off. Like we have an intention and then like a counter intention, you know? So there's, there's certain sacrifices that you make for, for uh, like a, like a true goal like that. And I have to tell you that when you said that at Bay Mastermind, that really uh, amongst the many things, but that was something that really changed my perspective because as married couples, like, you know, oh, we want this and we want that. But then we get mad when our husband has got to or our wife has to work at next work more hours. They have to go on a business trip. They have to be on Clubhouse. They have to whatever that may be. So it's like we want it over here, but we're but we're not willing to support the sacrifice. Right. And then and then when that person doesn't get to this level of success, that's where the conflict starts coming in. You know, so, you know, a lot of men and some women, they're damned if they do and they're damned if they don't. Right. Yeah. And that's why I bring it up and I, I point it out to people. Um, it's because so big. That was such a mind shift for me. You, I say, um, you know, you can have it all, but there will be a sacrifice. You can have it all, though, but there will be a sacrifice. You know, it's like Grant says, you can do uh, anything, but you can't do everything, you know. So at least at least not at once. Yeah. I mean, or you have to figure out how to, to, to get an empire big enough to where you can delegate roles and surrender the power and let and trust, find the one you trust and build an empire that is going to execute on that mission for you. So you can, you know, have highest and best usage of your time. Well, but you also talk about building an empire that's so strong that it can sustain a hit. Right. And yeah. having vertical, you know, several, several different verticals or, you know, of, of, of income of, of resources, because, you know, the, the bigger the empire gets, the more enemies you're going to have, you know, the more hits that you're going to take. And there are just some hits that we cannot control, right? The economy, the president, the, you know, whatever that looks like. Right. And so, you know, so, so, you know, you have to build an empire that is so strong from the inside, but then you also talk about the fact that most empires are taken down from the inside. No, not it's somebody on the inside that, that, oh. that, that destroys the empire. It's the one that you let on the inside that you ignored the red flags or you weren't 
um, observant enough to notice, or you didn't have your own integrity or your, or you didn't know your own core values well enough to be able to demand and expect that that high level in somebody else. But you let somebody into the organization that knows you, your, your organization has access to your community, to, to everything. They, they're the ones that do the most damage because they can poison the people within. Now you've got this internal fire you're trying to put out. You know, when the real target is the the, the known enemies uh, that you should be fighting, instead you're now pulled off of that agenda, you know, making a difference for the better in the world in order to handle the fire inside your own organization. You know, it's like, it's like where that expression poison the well came from. Do you know what that came from? I don't. Okay, so back in the day when they had empires and they had uh, the men and the soldiers on the field, what they would do is the turncoat, the trader within the group would poison the water well. And so the soldiers would drink the poisoned water that was poisoned by their trader mate, you know, and they would drink it and they'd be too sick to fight on the battle. And then they'd just get decimated. Wow. Have you ever felt like that you needed a food taster? Like, like, have you ever just felt like when you say that, <laughs> With, with the empire, right? But have you ever felt like, you know, you know, you guys get so big and then, you know, sometimes, you know, it is hard to know who to trust. Like, I don't have near the empire you do, I, and I oh, still have trust issues. I, I go over that and, 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 um, and build an empire mastermind. I know we, we came to talk about um, 10X ladies today, so I don't want to get too thrown off, but in my and I go over red flags and things to look for and raise a person's awareness, um, the ability to confront. You know, it's not evil. I mean, it's, I'm sorry, it's not. Um, it's extremely difficult to confront that evil exists in this world and that evil can actually be done to you. It's, it takes a very high level of confront. But I teach somebody how to have confront, raise confront, have awareness, know what the red flags are, know who you are. It's when you compromise your integrity that you'll allow others when they compromise theirs to be led into the into the into the empire and somebody who's going to compromise their own integrity. You don't stand a chance. They'll they'll stab you in the battle poison the well. They'll slaughter your children, you know, and those are the people that you need to be aware of. So I always at the end of the day, uh, I hold myself accountable. If somebody came into the empire that's my fault that I, I chose. It always comes down to I chose to ignore it. The only other time we had a massive problem was when I chose to ignore the red flags because I was chasing the dangling carrot. It's when I gave up my crown saying somebody else knew more than me because they were, you know, in a status that I thought, you know, was unattainable for myself. I thought they knew more. So I've kind of did the bow down to them and they came in and just whoosh, decimated. I mean, it cost us years of litigation. It cost us millions of dollars. It pulled my organization off course for months, all at Elena at the helm because I chose to ignore all the red flags that I saw. So this is the thing that I teach people to, to recognize. So no, I'm not really too worried or concerned about poisoning of the well because I keep myself so strong and so focused and so disciplined. You know, I don't drink alcohol. I don't do drugs for a particular reason, because that's my role in this organization to protect the empire. And I have to be sharp. I can never dull my senses for a moment because, because that's the level that we're playing at. That's the level I want to be playing at. I want to continue to grow more and expand. And it's, and it's, I hold myself responsible. I love it. Okay. So 10 X ladies, 10 X ladies is about five pillars. Okay. And here's the thing about the, the five pillars of a 10 X ladies. You can't have one and be failing at the other. You can't be 10 X at blah, 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 and be horrible at the other. So let me tell you what the five pillars of being a 10 X lady is mindset. You have to have a 10 X mindset, 10 X in your relationships, not just with your spouse, but with your colleagues, your children, with everyone in like planet earth relationships, mindset, relationships, business, finance and health. So you can't be 10 X in health and have your relationships failing. You can't have 10 X relationships and have bad health. You have to figure out how to be 10 X on all five pillars. That's why I'm throwing the 10 X ladies 
uh, because I'm bringing in expert women who are wanting to give and impart information that is going to help fast track your way to success. This I hold these events for me. Truth be told, I hold these events for me because this is what I need to hear from other powerful women. This is what I need to remind myself and hold myself accountable to. And this is what I need in my life. So I figure if I need it, well, and I'm no different from anybody else, then other women need it too. I just wish this would have been around 20 years ago and I could have had my, my track fast tracked. Well, and, and I think you've said before publicly that, you know, that you, that you kind of got 10 X ladies going because you wanted to be able to connect with people that Grant wasn't connecting with, right? The women sometimes. Um, yeah. Now I always connected with them because I was in the car business, right? Like I got Grant Cardone from day one. And um, so many women that will, but the yes. women who aren't going to come across Grant, whether because they're not on those, the, the entrepreneurial in, Instagram feeds or. Right across him and he's talking to locker room talk or he's abrasive or they misunderstand him, whatever. I was like, those are the women that actually could be winning from Grant's products and services, except they don't, they just never gave him more than two seconds to listen to him. Those are the women that I said, okay, maybe they can be attracted to me, find me as a via to where then I can turn them on to 10X GrowthCon and we can have more women at 10X GrowthCon. And then I can turn them on to Cardone Capital. We can have more women investors in the real estate. Then I can turn them on to Cardone Ventures and I'd be partnered with more women bo uh, women business owners. It's unbelievable. So tell us about what does 10X Ladies look like? Tell us, um, you know, I mean, we're having it at the Turnberry this time. Uh, we had the last one on this amazing yacht that was just like, oh, like, I don't know. Anybody who follows me, you saw all the pictures. It was unbelievable. Uh, you know, there's nothing like it. There's absolutely nothing like it. You know, just the experience. It's a very experiential. But number two, the friends and the connections. I see my good friend, Charlie Donahue on here. I met her at Bay Mastermind. You know, I listed six houses for her, Elena. Isn't that the beauty of our community? Like yes. come together and then actually do business. Yes. With female business owners. Yes. Yes. Because we're of the same mindset. So kind of give us a rundown of what 10X Ladies is going to look like. So 10X Ladies, last time, the one you were talking about was called the Power Players Edition. It was an extremely high price ticket. There was It was only exclusive to 200 ladies that could fit on this yacht. And that was magnificent this 10x ladies is called the risk takers edition i can have a thousand women at the turnberry i've really made the price of the ticket very affordable because i really want the masses there i want the risk takers you know willing to run into danger that's the derivation of risk uh, of risk run into danger and i don't mean run into danger um irresponsibly i'm i mean run into danger where you've been putting something off because you fe you feared that you had the lack of confidence or you're, you're lacked in your ability. That's what I'm trying to pull out and say, go for it, run into it. We support you. You know you can do this. So this one's the risk takers edition. I'm having 10 speakers, just baller after baller after baller woman, powerhouse speakers that are gonna come in and change your lives. And they're gonna be talking around these five issues. Mindset, in, uh, mindset, relationships, business, finance, and health. I love it. And I, I'm, I'm excited to say that you've asked me back to be a speaker again. And like, when you called me and asked me, you're like, well, and I'm like, uh, my answer is yes. You know, it's unbelievable just to be able to, to be able to connect with these women and, and just to be able to bring value and life experience. And just like you, I mean, the other nine speakers I learned so much from, they were so amazing. The whole event is so amazing. Um, and I'm trying to put up here on the ticker. Yeah. Here we go. Other Across the bottom, everybody, is the, is it, it's 10xladies.com, right? 10xladies.com. Slash Lisa. Lisa. Yes. Lisa. Or slash Lisa. That's where you can get your tickets, um, at the, in the Lisa section. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love that. And like I said, I cannot wait. Are, are you at a point you want to announce any of the other speakers or do you want to? I'm having um, Sherry speak. Hers is going to be her. Her title is Why Not? Natalie work. Natalie Dawson's going to be speaking about teams and communities and building uh, the empire. Um, Barbara Majeski yes. is going to be I speaking. I love her. She's great. Barbara. Um, Stormy Wellington's coming back. I'm having Adriana Gallardo. Gallardo. I'll have that properly pronounced by the time we get there. She's amazing, has an incredible story of when she came here, Lisa, she came here from Mexico and her, literally her dream job. Well, finally she gets a job at Burger King, but her dream job was to be the, the one, the person on the headset through the drive through window. That was like her biggest dream in life Burger at Burger King. And she got it. And then her mother was like, what are you doing being the, the headset chick? And she was like, well, I feel important. I'm wearing a headset. And her mother was like, well, why aren't you one of the people in the cars driving up to get a burger? And her mind was blown. Like, you mean like be in a car? Like that was just unreal. Anyway, from there, she's now the number one Latino, uh, Latina owned business insurance in all of California. Wow. Just, it's, so, it's just so incredible. She's so success, successful, worked her way up. All the, the, the odds that she had to go through, barriers, learning languages, I mean, the mindset, and how her mother was there the whole time pushing her, making her like confront situations to the point where she was crying, didn't want to do it. And her mother was like, you're doing this. And how I love that part of the story is like, you know, someone who's really in your corner. And at the time you, you, you hate them for it. And you're thinking, why are they so horrible to me? But it wasn't, it made you get to the point where you had to come out and you had to do it. And then you had to land on your feet and then you got your confidence and then you could build an entire business and take care of your children and your community and you know and i love that story about that mom pushing her so anyway just really incredible powerhouse women with good applicable data takeaways to leave everyone uh to go back into their lives motivated to do the same to be 10x with their relationships with their kids with their spouses with their co-workers to be 10x and up their health game working out staying fit getting mentally tough you know, how can I, I mean, support? That, that's something that you did for me. I mean, last time, and I don't know if, I, I think it was the real estate summit. I don't think, I know it wasn't 10X ladies, but the real estate summit, you know, I met Gary Brecca and, you know, I got onto all of the 10X healthcare system. I mean, unbelievable how I feel. And because of you, you know, I do Pilates four days a week with a private coach because I'm just like, God, like if Elena Cardone, because I've always said like, oh, I'm just TV. What? What? And so it's just great to have a role model, a friend, like, again, you know, I never want someone to tell me what to do. I want them to, sh you know, I want to follow them. I want to, I want them to show me how to do it. If that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. And there's just so many gurus out there today that are selling their systems or whatever it may be, but they're not doing them. Chances are they, they didn't write them. You know, they didn't live them out. They don't walk them out every single day like you and Grant yeah. do. So I cannot and, wait. And then Last, the last speaker, which I hemmed and hawed and debated about for a long time, because it is a man, Ooh. but I decided, and I did ask him to speak, Gary Brecca, who you just mentioned, oh, because good. so important for the health, um, for, you know, people look at me, I'm 48 years old, I'm in very good shape, you know, I'm ridiculously I'm good shape. <laughs> can always be critical, right? Oh, but okay. Don't do not. <laughs> I could, but I, but I do recognize for, for my age and, and where I'm at, I am super fit. I train two hours a day. You know, I have an immense amount of 
stamina. And I just feel like uh, Gary is the only one who can articulate the plan and break it down to where women can understand it and realize, well, I don't have to do two hours a day. I can just take care of myself for 15 minutes. Plus I can eat the right foods and take a couple supplements or do a couple little small life hacks that make a tremendous difference. So I'm going to have him speak as well. Yeah. And it's great because, you know, I'd done these blood tests and the blood tests, you know, and they were like genetic tests. And because of that, it showed me everything that, that my body didn't have. And, you know, so they got me on the supplements. Right. Um, I was testosterone. Can you believe that? Right. I was like, even though women made testosterone. And then, you know, I went into the gym and I started fighting. I told, you know, my trainer, I need more testosterone. And I was fighting. And he was like, what, you tired? And I was just started hitting him more. And I was like, you just wait until I get my testosterone. <laughs> Woo, you ain't seen nothing yet. When I get my testosterone, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> oh, my God. I can, I can talk to you for... Okay, if you have too much estrogen, you're gonna you're gonna hold weight, especially around yes. your lower belly and your hips. And you're well, like, they put me on something called DIM, D I M, and DIM blocks estrogen because I had too much estrogen. Me right? too. Me too. Mm -hmm. So well, anyway, it wasn't it wasn't sitting on your hips. <laughs> I'm having Gary come in because you know I believe in holistic. I haven't done, a, you know, I'm not anti drug like medically when you absolutely need it, but I am anti street drug and I'm as a generality, I'm anti drugs because I believe they're over pushed in this society. Oh, for and sure. what I love about Gary is like, why not just figure out what's going on, make those adjustments and see how far you get without needing uh, to depend on big pharma for the rest of your life. So oh my God, I'm so excited. Gary's coming. I can't even stand it. Like I've been doing it for six months. It's changed my life. Um, it's changed my, like, even, even my brain is not foggy. Like there'd be times like where my, you know, my brain was foggy, you know, and, and the blood test, you know, they were able to decipher that and do this. And so anyways, that is so exciting. Well, my friend, I'm going to let you get back to uh, running the empire. I want to thank you so much for coming live with us today. Uh, the comments are unbelievable. I'll have to tell you where I'm going tonight, Lisa. You're going to love it. Oh, do tell. I'm done. No, I'm keeping everybody in a mystery sandwich. Oh, are you going to? Talk to me after the broadcast. Yeah. We're oh, okay. Everybody else in mystery though. Maybe I'll <laughs> I'll announce it at Ten X Ladies. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm going to create massive empire tonight. Oh my God. Okay. Well, with that being said, do not get off of this when I when I end the broadcast because I I you know I need the details. Okay. But anyways, tenxladies.com forward slash Lisa. Ten yes, it's all along the bottom. And all kinds of people are saying, how do I, up how do I upgrade? How do I upgrade? Um, uh, it's on her site. It's on her site. If you want to come as a, as a, as an executive, uh, a VIP or a diamond, you just go to 10 xladiescom and you can just purchase whichever ticket you want. The diamonds though, they get a helicopter ride. They get a special, uh, dinner and my private dinner. Did we reveal the location or are we keeping that a mystery? It's going to be in my house. Oh, and, and, and the swag bags oh are, uh, weren't my last year's diamonds, amazing swag bags. Unbelievable. But look at this picture I got with Elena that they sent to me. I said, thank you for being a speaker. I know, I know, but I just, I just loved it so much that it's, it's in my office. I, I, I just, I keep it cool. one of my diamonds that came to the dinner. We have to and do what? that. That's a good one. Put that down. Put it on the list. What's a good one? I, I you, you cut out. So Lisa, with the last ten X ladies, when the diamond members came attended, I had a dinner, and at yeah. the dinner on on the Friday night we did a photo session. So what I did was I took the picture that I took with the diamonds when I gifted them the ten X Empire diamond necklace. Beautiful, by the way. Then on the following night, when we had the dinner, when they came in to check in for their dinner, I had a framed picture for them welcoming them to the diamond dinner. There's just nothing that you do that's not 10x. I mean, <laughs> I mean, not only will you all walk away with 
just like you will be, I mean, there's no greater way to start your year, but the experience, the, it's, it's such an experiential event and it, it'll up your thinking. Like mediocrity doesn't get to live at 10X ladies. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. We are a threat to mediocrity. That's yes. a risk. Okay. A risk means being a threat to something. So risk takers are a threat to mediocrity. Well, good. You know, the book I wrote, uh, in 2016 was crushing mediocrity 10 ways to rise above the status quo just hate mediocre uh, gina black says she wants a diamond come on gina let's oh, go okay. baby let's go. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> and then patricia says i already bought an executive but i want to upgrade anyways all kinds of just you know okay yeah they can Thank come you. danny um d-a-n-i danny at grantcardone.com all right everybody um thank you for coming today thank you for supporting us and and supporting elena um we appreciate it i hope i see everybody who's on this broadcast and a lot of you are going to be catching the replay on this so if you're catching the replay on this it's not too late but we will sell out of tickets to this event so get them now million because, FOMO, i mean you're the type of person that has fomo fear of missing out don't yep. don't yourself on this one just do it now do it, do now. it now now because the minute you commit it starts working it does it starts working the minute you purchase your ticket you're like you're in the magic starts working Let's go. <laughs> all right everybody thank you elena cardone we love you oh, and love i, I you. can't wait to see all of you at 10x ladies in miami florida Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.